In this lesson, we're going to create a simple scene to solidify the concepts that we've already learned. All right, so the first thing that we want to do is we want to create a new level. So I'm going to go to File and New Level. Let's choose the default level, and then we're going to save this. So I'm going to do File, Save As, and we're going to choose 11 underscore begin. We're going to go ahead and just overwrite that, and so this is what you should have if you open up the project files, if you have access to those. So to get started, let's start adding in some props. And this is the process of call, that's called set dressing. Set dressing will allow us to add in props and different static meshes to create the story of the level itself. So let's go ahead and go all the way down to the bottom. We should see this wall mesh. Left click and drag that into the scene and then we're going to rotate it negative 90 degrees. Now let's make sure that our snapping is turned on, so I'm going to hit Control Z. Let's turn on our angle snapping and our uh, move snapping on, and let's rotate that negative 90. Okay, so with that set, let's go ahead and position that a little bit differently, so I'm going to hit W from our move tool, and let's just position that right about here. Okay, great. So with that set, you'll notice that we get this really dark shadow on our wall. I want to change the lighting a bit. So to do this, let's select our light source, or you can select it in your scene outliner. And then if you hit F on the keyboard, that will allow you to frame in on the object if you're having a hard time finding it. So let's go ahead and grab our rotation tool, or hit E on the keyboard, and let's make sure that we're in the world mode. Switch that over, and you should see this world icon. Now let's rotate that along the Z, and we're going to rotate that negative it uh, looks like maybe 70 degrees or 80 degrees, and there we go. Great. Um, with that, let's go ahead and start adding in some different props. So I'm going to come in, and I'm going to go to my props folder, and let's go up to the top, and we should see these generic painted crates. With this crate selected, let's turn off our snapping for our movement and just drag that into the scene. Let's grab our move tool or hit W on the keyboard. And actually, you know what? Let's grab our rotation tool or hit E on the keyboard. Let's rotate that around. I'm also going to turn off my angle snap. And let's move this up against the wall. So we don't want that to penetrate through the wall. We want it to be close to it, though. And then I'm going to hold down Alt and drag that out a couple of times. So hold Alt and move, and that will duplicate your crate. Let's move these a little bit closer to one another, and then also rotate them a little bit differently, so that way we have a little bit of um, kind of a, a mismatch in, in angles and things like that. So it looks a little more natural. Okay, nobody stacks boxes absolutely perfect. Okay. All right, let's go ahead and add in a couple more. We're going to raise this up, so hold down Alt, raise that up. Let's put this into position and hold Alt and put that one into position. And let's rotate this right about here. Okay, so we'll actually, you know what? Let's rotate this one out kind of like that. Cool. All right, I'm going to actually take this guy and let's rotate him a little bit differently. And all we're doing here is we're just trying to create a sense that these were stacked and they may have been stacked. Um, very quickly because they were very heavy or something like that, but that's that's the process of set dressing. Let's go ahead and bring in the other crate, and this one's going to be an open crate, so I'm going to drop this right here in front, and then we're going to grab this hay mesh that goes along with that. We're going to place that right on that crate. You'll notice that it gets pretty close because it's colliding with it, but we just need to do a little bit of uh, manipulation, just kind of pushing that around, making sure that we don't have any pieces that are sticking out of the sides of the crate. Now I'm going to lower this down just a little bit, kind of like that, and then we're going to take one of those amphoras, and we're going to drag that right into the crate. With that, let's hit E on the keyboard, and I want to rotate it 90 degrees in the X, at least pretty close, I should say. And then we're going to rotate it along the Y, around 90 degrees. Grab our move tool. Let's put that back into position here. Now you'll notice that it's pretty large for our crate. We may have to change this up a little bit. So no worries about that. We can just place it as close as we can to where it's right on top of that hay, and then we're going to scale it down. So let's grab 
the scale tool hitting R on the keyboard and make sure you're highlighted right over the center so all three axes are selected and let's scale that down. Let's just go ahead and put that back into the crate right on top of that hay and if it penetrates through a little bit that's okay. Alright great. Now I want to move both of these down so select the amphora and the hay so hold down control and pull that down in the Z axis. So that way it's sitting right down inside of that crate. Now let's take that crate lid and let's make sure we find that here and let's place that right on top of the crate. Now with this what I'm going to do is I'm going to position it to where it looks like it's been busted off but then just placed over on the crate again. So let's rotate this kind of, well let's go this direction with it. So it's sitting right on top kind of like that. We may pull that rotation back just a little bit so that way we can kind of see what's in there. Alright, cool. Let's throw that down just a little bit further. There we go, sitting right on top of that. Great. So now that we have that set, let's go ahead and bring in another prop. Let's say that this is a dig site, and so we want to bring in like this shovel. Let's go ahead and rotate it 180 degrees to where it's pointing up. And let's pull that up, and we'll stick that shovel to where it's kind of in the ground. So it's sitting up on its own. We'll also rotate it along the z-axis just a little bit so that way it's kind of at an angle it looks good now you can bring in other props as well you could start bringing in things like the stone pile you could scale those down make that a little bit smaller okay something like that kind of looks like maybe part of that wall that's been broken off the colors off just a little bit we might want to take care of that material but I'm not really going to worry about that too much okay so we'll just kind of place it right along here. Now I also want to change the material that's on our ground. I want that to look like sand because I have a material in here that's actually called sand. So let's go ahead and find that. There it is. And we're just going to simply left click and drag that right on top of our um, object for our floor. And there we've got some sand. Now it does look like it's tiled a little bit too much but that's not really a big deal. If we want to change that I can double click on that material and I can actually adjust the tiling of this. Now this material is a little more complicated than what we had before but if I double click on this uh, text cord right here notice that my tiling set to 2. Let's go ahead and set that to 1 on both of those directions and then let's hit save and apply. Or actually apply and then save. Give that just a moment to compile and then we'll go back to our level and we should see that that sand looks a little bit better. Okay, so not, not quite so tiled. Alright, so that looks great. One more thing that I want to add, I want to add this cloth piece to one of these boxes just to kind of break up the uh, continuation of the design shape. We can see that that's basically white coloring all over that. Let's put that right on top of that crate as close as we can and then we'll move that and rotate it into position. So I'm going to rotate it about 100 degrees or so. We'll place that right over the top of this crate to where it looks like it's sitting and draping over that. Now you'll see that my cloth okay, is just kind of sitting there, but I have this special material that I've created and it allows us to use vertex coloring to move this cloth without actually creating any sort of animation. So I'm going to go to my materials and you'll see that I have M cloth and then cloth moving. Simply left click and drag that onto your object and then we should see that, ma that cloth material moving in the wind once it's ready. Okay. Alright, so there we go. We've got a pretty basic scene. You can kind of go through some of those other props. Start placing them around. You could do something like these gold coins. You could place them on top of that crate. Okay, and you can kind of scatter those around. Just have some fun with it and uh, start um, learning how to uh, really do a little bit of set dressing. Tell a story with all of these. So you can go ahead and start adding in some more pieces. I might add some more in, but what we're going to work on next is trying to get a, a mood by setting the lighting and getting all that ready. So I'll see you in the next lesson.